Good day and welcome back to Sir Kenneth's English Lessons. Today we are going to be talking about idiomatic expressions. Now I know we already have a video on idioms, but this one is like a sequel, a continuation to the first video. But anyway, before we begin, please you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more lessons from Sir Kenneth. Okay, since we already defined idiom in our former, in our first video, today we are just going to proceed with the examples. Okay, now the first example I have is test the waters. And when someone tells you to test the waters, it's like they're telling you to try other options of a particular, you know, situation. For example, if someone breaks up and they tell the person who has broken up from a relationship to test the waters, and tell the person to test like other partners. That's what it means to test the waters, to try other options. Good. Example. Take a bow. And when someone tells you to take a bow, the person is telling you to like, you know, just give up. Like, yeah, to give up. Or, or it could also mean like it's the end of an event. Like, yeah, let's take a bow. The show is over. So let's, let's take a bow. Yeah. Right, the third example. Under wraps. And when you see something is under wraps, the thing is temporarily hidden. Like from someone or something or I don't know, yeah. So if something's under wraps, it means it's something that is hidden. So the person someone like you don't want people to know about it, so it's hidden, it's under wraps. It's hidden, yeah, that's what it means. Curiosity kills the cat. Now when you say curiosity kills the cat, it means like Curiosity is like when like curiosity like leads someone into trouble like when you're so curious about something And you want to find out at all costs what it's about and then by the end you, you find yourself in trouble because you're so curious So that's when that's the meaning of that expression when someone says curiosity kills the cat it means curiosity can get someone into trouble okay. Next example elbow grease you know, most people you say more grease to your elbow, more grease to your elbow. So it's like some sort of word of encouragement, you know, like to tell someone, yeah, that's great, keep up, more grease to your elbow, elbow grease. So that's that's basically what it means. It's a, it's a way of saying, of like encouraging someone to keep up doing something. Hard not to crack. Right, when someone says something it's hard not to crack, it means it's a problem or maybe an investigation or a question. Which like it's difficult like to find the answer to to like it's difficult to find the answer to like if if a police officer for example says this case is a hard one to crack it means this case like it's difficult to find a solution an answer to this case we're working on so that's like basically what it means. Okay. Next example, think big. Now when someone tells tells you to think big, like they are just telling you to like you know to dream, to have big dreams, like to aspire great things because, you know, it's believed that anyone can achieve anything so long as they work hard for it. So if someone tells you to dream big, the person is telling you to like, you know, think and have great aspirations. Yeah. Good. Okay, next example. In a nutshell. When someone says in a nutshell, it's going to say like, okay, summarily or in short. Yeah, so that's what in a nutshell means so we're saying like it's like you're yeah, rounding up like we are you were saying something like maybe you were preaching or or you were giving a lesson and then at the end of the lesson you're like okay in a nutshell like summer really what i've been talking about was da -da 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 so that's what in a nutshell means more expressions left and these ones are like more of erotic erotic kind of expression so if you're under 18 don't listen to these ones <laughs> okay the next expression is Babe magnet. Now, when you say babe magnet, it simply means like it's maybe a guy who is very attractive that women like constantly come to him because of his looks. So it's a babe magnet. Magnets he attracts babes. That's what it means. <laughs> okay, now last but definitely not the least, the idiomatic expression of the day is sugar daddy. Now, a sugar daddy is an old man. Who dates younger girls? So it's a sugar daddy to the younger girls. Now that we're talking about dating and whatsoever, there is this other expression that used to trend when I was in, I think, level one or level two. So today it's a trend. These uh, people call people bay and bo, like two, two 
they have not yet really understood what that means. People just use it randomly, so I can't even give you a clear definition of what bay and boo means. Like I remember I saw on Facebook one day, this girl I'm friends with on Facebook, she posted, she said, okay, she was from church, so she said, the message was bay, and the church was boo, so my God, is bay boo, like what does that even mean, people? <laughs> but anyway, I'm guessing it means like it's the way of, I'm guessing, or I'm not sure, it's the way of like, calling someone affectionately, bay boo, yeah, I'm guessing, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing that's what it means. Anyway, that was all we had for you today. Hope you enjoyed Sir Kenneth's lesson for today. I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment se- in the comment section. So please stay tuned, Sir Kenneth, and remain blessed. Deuces.